Hi, welcome back to another one of our shows. I'm John Host, and this is Blather. <laughs> I'm joined tonight by seer and spiritualist Phil Koenig. And that's Kanad. Kanad. <laughs> as granted by the High Council. The High Council? <laughs> yes, it's actually the, the High Council of Ageless Dividends, which is, which is headed by a, a chosen few who are known only as the, those few people. <laughs> Sounds pretty secretive. It's very secretive. They are few and they are, yes, secretive. Me and Phil, we've been touring the country in support of your recent book, Life is Simple, Everything's Fine. <laughs> By the way, you've been using your powers to help people, haven't you? Oh, well, I've been helping people since before either of us were born. <laughs> but seriously, I've been, <laughs> I've been doing personal counseling for about five years now. I see. Now, this is the point that, well, being unfamiliar with it, it's many subtle nuances and spiritual undertones. I find it difficult to describe just what it is that you do. I'm able to communicate with loved ones who are in a coma. <laughs> <laughs> But not dead lovers. No. No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> the dead are just so bitter. <laughs> they find it impossible to be positive or constructive, and I cannot deal with negative attitudes like that. I mean, is it my fault that they're dead? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Don't talk to the goddamn dead, okay? <laughs> Phil, you promised a demonstration of your powers here today? Oh, yes, I'd be happy to. Now, is there anyone in the audience who has a comatose family member? Perhaps you, sir. Me? I, are you talking to me over here? Me? Yes, you. <laughs> What's your name? Oh, Betty. Hello, Betty. Hi, Phil. Betty, am I to understand that you have a family member in a coma? Well, it's a little unusual. How so? Um, it's my dog. <laughs> I see. Now, Phil, are you able to communicate with comatose animals as well? Well, I guess that's how I got my start. <laughs> <laughs> well, then what can you see regarding Betty's dog? Uh, Betty? Yes, Phil? What's, what's your dog's name? Tiny. Oh, is he a little dog? No. No, wait, I'm seeing something. A very large dog. Oh, excuse me, I just pulled him out. That's all right. Got it. Uh, Betty? Yes? Does, does Tiny have a ball or a toy, something he likes to chew? <laughs> There's a chew toy, it's, yeah. a, it's a bone. That, that's right, and, and it's rubber. Yes, a rubber bone! <laughs> I was picking up something in his mouth, a, a ball or a toy or a rubber bone. Um, can, can you tell me what he wants? Is he happy? Um, I'm, I'm picking up. Uh, uh, Betty, was Tiny fixed? Uh, yes, he was. Okay, I'm picking up a little bit of resentment there. <laughs> Overall, I'd say he's very content right now. Oh, thank God! And, and one moment, I'm... Got it. Got it. Got Got <laughs> What's happening? I believe he's going into some kind of a trance. He's channeling? I think he is. <laughs> Ready? Oh, my tiny! Ready? Yes, baby! Yes!
cousin is a male. Uh, no, no, that's right. She's a girl, of course. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Can you tell us what Bob's cousin does for a living, Phil? I suppose I could. Uh -huh. yeah. Picking up something uh -huh. uh, office materials. Is she working in an office? No. Is she a teacher? No. Nurse? No. Baker? Uh, no. Or a cook, perhaps? No. A teller? No. A housekeeper? No. A janitor? No. An athlete of some sort? No. A scientist? No. Worked in construction? No. Maybe on a boat or a boat or a farm? No. A factory? <laughs> so she's in the military. Really? Civil servant? Uh, <laughs> Civil servant? <laughs> Waste disposal? No. Um, a police yeah. officer? No, a firewoman? Fire person yes. with a fire? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, thank Christ. That's <laughs> okay. She says she loves you no matter what happens and hopes you're happy too. We hope that was helpful. Thank you for calling. Goodbye. <laughs> well, Phil, I'm speechless. I cannot, I cannot do any more readings today. I am exhausted. <laughs> you shouldn't have to. That was really, really amazing. Would you like to talk about your cookbook? Oh, I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs>